Today on Horseland, a water shortage means everyone at Horseland is trying to cut back on the water they use. Gotta save every drop. Everyone but Chloe, and her wastefulness could spell disaster for Horseland. No water in here either. It is so hot and dry today. What did you expect? We're in the middle of a drought. Ugh, I hate droughts. Why do you miss water so much? It's not like you wash that often. Actually, pigs are naturally very clean. Unlike some folks who wash themselves maybe a little too much. Everyone misses water, Angora. After all, everyone gets thirsty. Oh, this thing's heavy. Gotta save every drop. Hey, Chloe, let me help you with that. Oh, thanks, Will. You know, Chloe, there is a water shortage right now, and little drips and sloshes add up. Sorry, I'm doing my best to conserve. Really, I am. It's just so hard not to spill when the bucket's this full. So maybe water conservation rule number one should be, don't make the bucket so full. <coughs> I wish we could give the arena a quick spray. Calypso's getting so dusty, her spots are gonna disappear. What can I say? It's been a really dry year. The water district's only asking for voluntary conservation. But if it doesn't rain soon, they might start requiring water rationing. Hmm. You know, back in the old days, my tribe made a point of storing water in earthenware tanks in case of shortages. Earthenware tanks? Ew! Who wants water that tastes like the earth? Oh, brother. Hey, where's Zoe? She joined this loser after-school eco-club that studies conservation or something equally nerdy. Really? Zoe getting interested in the environment? That's so cool! Maybe you're a good influence, Nani. This is a good time to study conservation. It's so arid that Morgan's Creek is pretty much dried up. Yeah, fascinating. Can we start training now? Come on, Chili. Uh. Woo! It has been such a hot day. A little sponging off would have felt good. It wouldn't have taken much water. Oh, you got brushed down same as always. Most dirt and dust comes off with a good brushing. It's not the dirt and dust. It's the heat. That's right. What a pretty shiny horse you are. Come on. That's a good boy. Lower your head so I can get this off you. Love you. Show off. What? You never saw a really clean horse before? How come you got a bath? The kids keep saying there's not enough water to go around. That's true. There's only enough for them to use on me. Here we go. This is a good spot. <sighs> Zoe, hi! We missed you yesterday. Hey, Nani. Sorry, I had a club meeting. Yeah, Chloe said you're really getting into the environment. Yeah, I, uh... Hey, Chloe! So, Zoe, has your club been discussing water conservation? Huh? Uh, sure. Chloe! You know what's weird? Chloe said Zoe was all into ecology now, but she just doesn't seem that interested. Don't ask me to explain her or her sister. They'll always be a mystery to me. Earth to Chloe! <laughs> Looking good, Chili. Chloe! Hey, sis, how come Chili looks so clean? Don't know. Something in the water? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Zoe, you want to try the course first? Uh, okay, sure. Go, Good Zoe! Job. Nice! Woo! Oops. <laughs> Pardon my dust. <laughs> There you go, boy. How's that feel? Be right back, Pep. <gasps> Feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Hey! Ah! Stop it! You washed Chili earlier. Why are you bathing him again? Because it's hot and dry. And some doofus kicked dust all over us. It cools him off, too. Right, it can also dull his coat, washing him so often. Don't listen to her. She's jealous. Plus, you're using too much water. <gasps> I'm washing a horse here. What's the big idea? The big idea is to save water. Remember? A little thing called a water shortage? Hmm. You know, everybody keeps talking about a water shortage, but I turn on a faucet and hey, guess what? Water comes out! Not funny, Chloe. Oh, give me a break. Stop it! Let go! You let go. It's been months since the last rain. <laughs> Withdrawal of fresh water from the ecosystem shouldn't exceed the replacement rate. You sound like a textbook. Nobody's going to tell me when and if I can use water. If I want to dump a bucket of water directly down the drain, you can't stop me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to walk Chili till he's dry. Mm. Look at this mess. Cleaning up after that sister of mine again. There, and no drips. I wonder what her ecology club would say if they saw her wasting water like that. I wonder what Will would say. I wonder what I'm going to say. Because I've got to say something. <sighs> that hits the spot. I wish I could just dive in and splash around. There may be a water shortage. But thank goodness the kids are making sure we have plenty to drink. Mind if I use some of your water? Using a bucket helps me to keep track of the amount of water we're using on the plants. Oh, Will sure is working overtime to conserve water. Frankly, I haven't found the water shortage inconvenient at all. <laughs> Water! Oh, there's water! Hmm. Looks like a good time to wet down the dust. No way I'm getting my brand new boots all dusty. I had a nag mom for a month before she'd buy them. Would you cut that out? I'm really getting tired of you turning off my water all the time. Stop wasting it, and I'll stop turning it off. Can you just stay out of my business? Sometimes I can't believe she's really my sister. What in the... Why is the arena wet? What is Zoe up to? Darn, I hope he didn't see Chloe wasting water. Hey, Zoe, what you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. Same old, same old. Hanging out. I'm just gonna go saddle up Pepper. See ya. Wait till you see your nice clean stall. It's going to be so fresh and cool, Chili. 
Chloe! You better stop sneaking up on me. There's plenty more where that came from. No, there's not. That's the point. You think it's rough with just me on your case. Wait till everybody's keeping an <gasps> eye on you. You do that? You turn on your only sister? I can't believe it. I don't want to, but I will if you force me to. That's how important this is to me. Looks like she's been playing in the sprinklers. And her hair was soaking wet. I was so hoping I was wrong. But after what you guys saw... Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Zoe's really wasting a lot of water. You know, we might be jumping to the wrong conclusion here. But we've all seen her. Nobody's actually seen her wasting water. He's right. We'd have to catch her in the act. The question is, what do we do now? I think Zoe deserves a chance to tell us what's going on. Maybe she's got a good explanation. Chloe, hold on! Have you seen Zoe? Is she here today? How should I know? You are her sister. Don't remind me. You remember when we were talking about the water shortage? All the things we're doing to save water? Duh. What's your point? <sighs> There's no way to say this except just to come right out with it. Have you seen Zoe wasting water? Washing down stalls? Spraying down the arena? Uh, well, Nani, like you said, she's my sister. You know how it is. Okay, look, I understand. You don't have to say anything. I don't? Thanks, though. You've been a lot of help. Way to jump to conclusions. Oh, well. Serve Zoe right for messing with me. Hey, Nani. I just talked to Chloe. Yeah? So I guess it's true. Wasting water on horse stalls and dusty training rings and who knows what. Oh, I'm so glad she told you. It's been really weird keeping it a secret. I don't get it. You're in this ecology club. You're supposed to be environmentally friendly. So? So how could you go around wasting water when you know there's a water shortage? What's wrong with you? Me? I can't believe Chloe told you that. And I can't believe you believed her. Well, she didn't actually tell me. I kind of told her. She just didn't bother to say I was wrong. Thanks for doubting me. I jumped to conclusions. I'm sorry. It wasn't just Nani, Zoe. All three of us thought you were wasting water. We just kept seeing you wherever there was water all over. I'm not mad at you guys. Well, maybe a little. But I'm really mad at Chloe. She could have told you the truth, but she didn't. Believe me, I've tried to get her to take this drought seriously, but she just blows me off. So what do we do? Maybe we should teach her to take it seriously. Huh? I don't get it. You know, play a little trick on her. You think? No, the water shortage is too real. We shouldn't mess around just to teach Chloe a lesson. Maybe she'll learn on her own. Yeah, and maybe the sun will set in the east. Ew. Dusty. Nothing a little water won't take care of. No! 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 I can't believe Zoe was right! It is possible to run out of water! <gasps> what if it's all my fault? <gasps> What if Zoe tells them it's all my fault? I don't intend to be here when they find out. Come on! Chloe doesn't look very happy. I wonder what that's about. Hey, isn't that Chloe out there? Sure is. Wonder where she's going. I can tell you where she's been. Typical. She could at least put it away. Whoa, you guys! Check this out! The faucet's on, but nothing's coming out. That's odd. 
I'll check the others. Don't tell me you went ahead with your little trick. No way, this wasn't me. No water in here either. So this is for real? Hang on, boy. We're almost to Morgan's Creek. You can get a drink there. Maybe I will too. Of all the days not to stop for a smoothie on the way to Horseland. There's the creek now, Chili. <gasps> oh no! It's all dried up! Actually, I think Will might have said something about that. Maybe I should have paid more attention. I hate to admit it, but I probably should have paid more attention to a lot of things. False alarm! The water was turned off because the plumber was here, installing low-flow faucets and shower heads to conserve water. I can't believe we didn't notice his van. I feel like such a dweeb. I really thought Horseland had run out of water. <gasps> What is it? I bet Chloe thinks she did it. Oh, come on. Seriously? In case you hadn't noticed, she's sort of egotistical. Zoe's right. Why else would Chloe have taken off in such a hurry? We have to tell her the truth. It might be fun not to. No, we gotta tell her. But we'll have to find her first. I'm so sorry I didn't bring any water along. If we get out of this alive, I'll never take water for granted again. Oh, great. Now I'm seeing mirages. Wow, they look so real. Here you are. Glad we found you. You look like you could use this. You guys, listen. It's my fault that Horseland ran out of water. Chloe, Horseland didn't run out of water. The plumber was installing low flow fixtures and turned the water off for a while. You're sure? This isn't another one of Zoe's jokes? No joke. Then give me that canteen. <laughs> That tastes so good. What about Chili? What about him? I was taught that we take care of our animals first. He's thirsty too, you know. Oops. Sorry, boy. Here you go, Chili. You need some of this, I bet. Thanks, Will. I guess thinking I'd used up all the water was pretty silly, huh? Oh, yeah. Look, Zoe, I'm sorry I let Nani think you were the water waster. I shouldn't have done that, but I've learned my lesson. I swear, no more water wasting. My ordeal in the wilderness will not be in vain. Your ordeal? Yeah. How long was I lost out here anyway? Seemed like hours. About 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's put that cactus over here. The ponytail palm goes there. Zoe, pick up that big one. No, I said the big one. This one? Perfect. That's an aloe. It'll be handy in case of burns or scrapes. Uh, uh. And if you keep ordering me around, you might need it. I know this is a lot of work but it'll be worth it. Succulents store water. They're drought resistant. I think Chloe's become a convert to conservation. About time she joined the club. And when did you join the club? About the time I figured out that unless cows have water to drink and grass to eat, they're not going to make much milk. We must all work together to ensure there's plenty of water for cows. Besides, for cleaning, nothing beats a tongue and a paw. Ooh. But I prefer to clean myself with a clean paw. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Horseland on a picket